Hi friends! So you can probably tell by the fact that I'm not wearing any makeup and I'm wearing a sweatshirt and I look like death that it's a get ready with me my thoughts video. I wish I knew how to do sound effects because I would be like yay you like that noise maybe I'll work on it maybe I'll include it right here. So I feel like I have quite a few thoughts on quite a few things going on right now and <laughs> I've been thinking about them a lot. And I just wanted to like sit down and just be like, hello. <laughs> so, where to even start? Where to even start? I honestly don't even know where to start with this one because I'm just like, what is going on? <sighs> I'm nervous about this video because I don't know if you guys are all gonna agree with me because we're talking about Tati and Halo Beauty. And um, as my, and we're talking about drama channels. Like this is gonna be, I'm just gonna tell you right off the bat, uh, I'm not gonna be really going in depth about Tati's Halo Beauty as a whole, maybe a little bit, uh, but more I wanna talk about kinda how annoyed I am with the, the drama channel's reaction to Halo Beauty. You ever just have no idea what makeup you're gonna wear? I think I'm gonna go with the Too Faced Peach Perfect. So, if you've been just like not on YouTube, uh, Tati came out with a brand and she kind of teased like a week before that she was gonna be coming out with this brand. And up until that point, nobody had really known anything about it. And then she came out like the, the like two days before it was launching or she was announcing like what it actually was. She was like, well, who says it's makeup? So everyone was like, oh my God, it's skincare. Uh, Cause if you don't know, Tati is pretty famous for having a really, really nice skincare regimen. Because she's like, she's not even old. I don't know why people keep saying she's old. She's only like 36, <laughs> like that's not old. But I guess for being older, I don't know. I, I like, I feel like I won't feel that old at 36, but whatever. Um, so for being older, she has like really, really gorgeous skin that people love. And so everyone was like, oh my God, she's dropping a freaking, everyone was like losing it. Like she's dropping a skincare line. This is going to be the best day ever and like freaking out about it. And then, and I will say like, I was with most of y'all when she pulled out that little vitamin pill, little pill bottle and was like, this is Halo Beauty. And I was like, what? And I was so, like, I was also, I'm not doing this video to like endorse Halo Beauty. I don't understand it really. I'm just, I don't, I don't, I already can barely take the medicine that's prescribed to me. Like I can barely remember to take that. So I feel like, Adding another thing into the mix, especially a $50 thing, is just a little much. Um, I like, I like the, like, I like that it's Tati, and I, I, I will say, like, I may be a little biased in the fact that I really, really like Tati, but I just think she's one of the beauty gurus that's, like, very, very genuine. I truly think she's a genuine person. I don't get a, like, money-hungry vibe from her. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. But I was with you guys when she pulled it out and I was like, that's Halo Beauty. Like I was a little disappointed, <sighs> but I'm more disappointed at what drama channels have done since this launch. The only person I'm going to call out by name is John Cookian um, because I actively don't like him. You guys know that if you're surprised by that. Go watch my other seven videos I've made about him talking about how much I dislike this man. Because he's definitely the main offender here. But there are a couple other drama channels that I watch that I respect and really like and have a lot of like, I, I watch their videos a lot. Um, and I was just pretty peeved. Oh, by the way, guys, before I go any further, I just wanted to tell you I've decided, this is like, so I'll put a timestamp if you don't want to listen to this, it's going to be real quick though. 
I've decided to start using affiliate links in my description boxes and that means that any of the links down below I'm gonna put a little like asterisk next to them if they are affiliated and um, you'll very clearly be able to tell which links are affiliated and which ones are not. I only get a very small commission if you buy through the link. So clicking on it, I won't earn any money. But if you buy, if I like recommend something that you like or you see me using something that you like, um, it'll be linked down below. You can click on it. And if you buy through it, I do earn a small commission. If you're not comfortable doing that, you can totally just Google it because it's super easy to find these products online. But I wanted to put those in there because uh, my channel is still not monetized. And as much as I'm not doing this for money, it is frustrating to put the amount of work I put into my videos and then not get anything. So if you guys are willing to support me and you guys are willing to... I just want to be like really transparent about it because I don't want you guys to ever think I'm like scamming you. If you guys are like supporters of me and you like me and if you're going to buy the product that I'm recommending anyway, don't just buy it to give me like the 2.2.5% that I would get from the sale. But if you're going to be buying something anyway, like if you're buying this foundation anyway, um, if you want to support me and buy it through my link, I would really appreciate it. But I'm not trying to like force you guys. Anyway. I like some of the drama channels and watch some of the drama channels um, that I'm going to be talking about. And this isn't any like shade towards them. It's more of a friendly reminder to maybe just like not become what you hate. When Halo Beauty launched, for me, it's a lot more about the price than anything else with Halo Beauty. Um, I just can't afford that and so I feel kind of bad but like I just can't I just can't afford it um I like Tati I like everything she's done I can't afford that so that's the reason I'm not buying it and I, I assumed that that would be the reason a lot of other people weren't buying it would be the price because I can see why that would be a deterrent for a lot of people what I didn't really expect was the amount of people that said they weren't going to buy it because of like the ingredients or because Tati was being like sketchy about it. I don't know. I didn't get that vibe when I watched the video. I didn't get the like Bernie Madoff vibe from Tati. I kind of just thought she was doing what a business person would do, which is sell her drug to her consumers. Like she's selling her product to the, con it's no different. And I'm going to talk about the Laura Lee Los Angeles release too. And I'm going to call something on the Lunar Beauty Manny MUA release because every single time these beauty gurus just do business, like everybody jumps on them and there's always drama surrounding it there's got to be drama Laura Lee had a freaking typo and everyone was like drama don't get me wrong I didn't think the Laura Lee Los Angeles palette was worth the price she was selling it for I didn't think it was a very good product but that doesn't mean there's drama make an anti-haul make an anti-haul saying that you don't like the product and you don't think it's worth $40. Don't make a video saying that there's this insane amount of drama. There's all this tea. There was no tea to the Laura Lee Los Angeles palette release. She didn't do anything shady or tea worthy. She just didn't make a good product. And I almost feel the same exact way with Tati. Like, I guess I'm just more... I can expect this type of stuff from John Cookian. I didn't expect him to make a freaking five-part series. What, it doesn't even, like, he's not the biggest issue, I guess. My bigger issue is that I'm just so sick of these drama channels jumping on everything as soon as it, ha it's like there wasn't any drama for a little while in the community, because there, there hasn't been for, like, a few weeks. There really hasn't been any issues or any drama. And now all of a sudden there's a release, which the release isn't drama. The release is just a product launch. It wasn't shrouded in scandal. And for everyone who's like, well, she didn't really release, she didn't explain the ingredients, blah, blah, blah. I agree she should have explained the ingredients, but do you look at every single, if you, don't come for me on this comment unless you look at every single label of everything you buy before you buy it. Because I know you don't, unless you're like crazy into health. In which case, email her team. I'm sure her team would have been happy to email you back. I'm just like, I don't understand why we have to just try and ruin these people's lives 
and ruin their dreams <laughs> because they are beauty gurus. We've made them into what they are. We've, we have, if you are subscribed to any of them, you have made them what they are. And now you're turning around and supporting people who are just dragging them for like really not a lot of reasons. First of all, first and foremost, just with Tati, I'm sorry if this video is so scattered. I'm just like, what is going on? If you believe for a second that John Cookian is not, is like a credible source on the Tati situation, I'm sorry, you're freaking delusional. Like, I'm sorry, that's just so not correct. And I'm gonna tell you, I have, like, back it up, fam, I'm, fam, I'm gonna back it up. Tati literally not even like two months ago called out John Cookian publicly and shamed him for lying in his video about her and Jared Blandino from Too Faced. Does nobody remember this stuff? I don't know. I look at his videos and it's all, I know he deletes all of his negative comments, but it's all these positive comments and I'm like, where are these coming from? Like, do these people not remember? He, not only did she call him out publicly on Twitter, but she also posted DMs of him literally saying to her, you are a disgusting, evil person. He's not credible. He's not a credible person to be listening to about this stuff. And is it a freaking coincidence he hasn't talked for months and now he's making a five part, probably six, I'm anticipating another video, part series on Tati and her launch? The thing I'm truly disappointed in more than John Cookian. It's just like, this wasn't drama to me. Um, there was no tea. Nobody even gave her a chance to let her like fix the miscommunications that were happening before they jumped on and made a video. And then the second she made a video that put her back into, back into the public perception in like a positive light, like when she made her reaction video, suddenly all of the drama channels were making like reacting to Tati's video, I support her, love Halo Beauty, blah, blah, blah. Like, I just can't stand the fakeness of it. Like, Am I the only one that sees this stuff? I don't know if I'm the only one who like pays attention enough to see it, but like, can we just, and I like these channels. These aren't, chan this is no hate towards those channels because I like those channels. I just expect more from them. I expect more than just to bandwagon, ruin people's lives, just freaking cuz, just cuz you feel like it. Like I'm just, I'm just over it. I don't know if I'm crazy. I'm just so over it. Here's the thing. This is, and this is kind of part two of the video. We're kind of breaking away from like my disappointment in the community and whatnot. Here's really the issue here is that the real scandal here isn't something anyone's been talking about. The real scandal is not Saul Palmetto. The real scandal is not uh, a typo in the cat's pajamas formula. The real scandal here is that beauty gurus are, I don't know how to say this properly. They're, in a way, they're almost scamming their subscribers, but not in the way that you think. They're doing it in a more manipulative way. And I don't even know if I want to call it scamming because I don't think it's scamming. I just feel like all of these beauty gurus are, it's almost like inevitable that your kind of faves are now coming out with makeup. I will say Kristen Dominique seems to be doing it correctly. She's already getting sold at Ulta, which is huge. That's a huge thing for a new brand. And I actually, from what I've heard of the Latte palette, I haven't bought it yet, but I'm thinking about it. It's getting really great reviews and the quality's there. And she's a guru that isn't the most popular, but people are buying her products because they like not just her, they like the product. And this is kind of what I'm going to talk about with like Laura Lee and uh, with Tati, with the inevitable, I mean, even with the Jaclyn Hill palette, she was going to make a million dollars on the Jaclyn Hill palette regardless because she has 4 million subscribers that will buy whatever she recommends to them. She's people that no matter what she recommends, they'll buy it. I, we trust, we've built up these 
gurus and we trust them so much. We trust them to give us recommendations. We want to look like them. We want our makeup to look like theirs. We want our hair to be as pretty as theirs. We want their beauty rooms. And that's fine, I guess, but then you can't destroy these people for giving you what they think you want, which is their makeup. Um, I think at the end of the day, this has really got to come down to us being smarter consumers in what we buy. I don't think there's any scandal with Tati trying to poison you or Manny coming out with something that's going to burn your lips off. I think the bigger scandal here is that they're coming out with products that aren't entirely that great, but we're buying them just because they came out with it. It's great that you want to support, like, Laura Lee. It's great. Laura Lee. Like, it's, you can't say her name without saying it with Southern accent. It's great that you want to support her, but maybe wait till she comes out. Tell her with your, vote with your wallet and say, I'm not going to support you until you come out with something better. Don't buy cat's pajamas knowing you're probably not going to like it and then get mad when it gets there and you don't like it. It wasn't a very good palette. It was a boring palette. If who who could I, if Tarte or Too Faced had come out with that palette, we all would have been like, I've talked to a few brands since starting YouTube, brands who have like reached out to me and wanted me to like try their product or something. And the passion they have for their product is just so evident to me. Um, and I almost feel that way about Tati and her brand. I really do think Tati is passionate about this brand. Like, I do. I, I know that's not a very popular opinion, but I do think she's passionate. I don't, and that's why I'm kind of excluding her from the genre of people who are just making makeup because they know that their subscribers will buy it. I think Laura Lee, to be quite honest, I think Laura Lee lost her passion a long time ago. I think Manny has never been the most passionate about makeup. Um, Laura Lee's videos, I can't even watch anymore because I can just feel that she doesn't care. She just doesn't care anymore. And that's fine, but stop monopolizing a top spot when it's obvious you don't, you're just doing it for the money at this point. I, I really truly think that when influencers start kind of do, but not all, but when some start doing it for the money, think about any job you've ever had. If you work it long enough, sometimes you just really don't like it. And so when I see people like her coming out with palettes that aren't good, I'm like, well, you just put out a crappy product to get your fans to buy. And it backfired on her, thankfully. People were, people thought before they bought. And it did backfire, and I liked that. But I almost feel like because she was one of the first to do it, now it's set a precedent for the others. And I don't think that's fair. I don't, I don't think that's fair. I don't think, I think, I don't think Tati is doing this just to make a quick buck. Why would she make a vitamin? I know she can get recurring payments and from a business standpoint that's smart, but she's just a smart business person. I don't think she's pushing something on you like that doesn't work at all. At least for her, I think she thinks it works because it works for her. I don't know if this video is making any semblance of sense, but I'm just frustrated with everyone coming for everyone and the drama channels coming for these people and their own fans turning their back. If you're going to turn your back on them, unsubscribe and don't give them 5 million subscribers. They haven't stopped growing. Like... And I understand people had valid questions about her vitamin. And I think that's great that you're, you are you want to know what you're putting in your body. Like, more power to you. But, like, email the brand. Talk to a doctor. Don't leave a YouTube video comment. You know how many of those she gets? She's not going to read that. She doesn't. Don't get mad at her when she's not answering your YouTube comment questions. Like, email the brand. That's why she pays people to have a customer support team. Everyone just needs to, like, I hate to be all, like, leave Britney alone, circa, like, 2005, but, like, just leave Tati alone. <laughs> She's not doing anything other than trying to build a brand. And you know what? Vitamins? Not my thing. $50 vitamins? Not my thing. But she has so, shown such grace and class, and if to everyone who was, like, she was being too sassy in the video, 
Um, a freaking course she was. Are you kidding? Of course she was being sassy in the video. Everyone's been dr John Cookians out here trying to make like 17 is it on this shit. No, of course she's angry. Of course she's angry. I would be angry if I worked that hard and some and people were just and drama channels were just spreading lies and making people so skeptical of this stuff when there was no reason to be. I would be angry too, and so would you. You would be angry too. I'll let her be angry about that. She's not angry at you guys. She's not angry at the consumers. She's angry at every drama channel who made a video being like, well, I don't really know anything about science, but when she's been working with scientists, <laughs> John Cookian's not a scientist. I know he wants you to like believe that, but like he's not, he's not a freaking scientist. <sighs> it's just frustrating. You can totally tell me if you think I'm wrong because like, like I said, like I welcome, I welcome differing opinions. Please don't be like rude to me or mean to me because of it, cause I don't like that. But like, if you just have a differing opinion, let's talk about it, let's talk. Tell me why, tell me why Halo Beauty you think is, Tati is trying to ruin your life, tell me. I want to know. Like, I'm curious as to why people think that. If you had never seen a single drama channel make a video about it, would you have thought twice about Tati's Halo Beauty? Would you have like really been worried that it was gonna affect your birth control when even though it doesn't and it it's clearly says the whole pregnancy thing to me is just laughable because it so clearly states on the bottle that if you're pregnant you should talk to your doctor first like she covered her ass with that it does despite what john cookie and i'll tell you i think if it was going to affect your birth control she would tell you that i don't think she would have babies on her hands so yeah disagree agree do whatever you wish with it i needed to say all that it's been very frustrating the past few days seeing people i like and respect uh kind of doing things that i don't like and respect so i wanted to talk about it and just let you guys know to like maybe you just don't get swept up maybe you just don't if if you're sick of the drama being so obnoxious about like tweets and about like tati and uh, whatever just don't maybe don't click on the video I feel like we can vote with our clicks too and kind of end the unnecessary. I, I totally believe in drama channels for necessary issues. 110% like agree with like a lot of what they do and agree with a lot of their opinions. But this was just like unnecessary and I'm disappointed. Anyway, I love you guys. Uh, thank you so much. If you like this video, please like and subscribe or just like or just subscribe or do neither. I'm honestly just so happy you're here. I love you guys so much and I will see you later. Bye!